In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Goal Seek and Solver to solve CVP problems. Make sure to open your cvpanalysis.xlsx workbook from your student files and click on the Goal Seek tab. Now, what Goal Seek will do is an automated version of what I am about to show you. Notice how on this Goal Seek tab, all of the formulas have already been input. You can see your formulas by clicking the Formulas tab, and in the Formula Auditing group, click Show Formulas. So notice how in the input area, all we have are text and numbers, but in the output area, I have formulas that all depend upon the input cells. Don't worry, you haven't messed up your workbook, all you have to do is click the Show Formulas button once again, and your workbook goes back to where it was originally. So now, what Goal Seek does is an automated version of what I am about to show you. So click on cell B4 and type the number 2000. No commas. Now notice when you hit Enter, the sales revenue the variable cost and the operating income is going to change automatically. So notice when I hit enter, I get negative $17,000 as the operating income. So click back on cell B4 and now type the number 3000 and hit enter. So notice when I hit enter, the sales revenue, the variable cost and the operating income will all change automatically, and now my operating income is a positive 17000 So I might actually think in my head that the break-even point is halfway between 2000 and 3000 So I'm going to click on cell B4 and type 2500 and notice now when I hit Enter, the operating income is now zero. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Excel to do that exact same thing. I'm going to tell Excel to change the quantity and make sure that the operating income equals zero. So click back on cell B4, type our original number of 3,500 and hit enter. Click on cell B14, our operating income, which makes it a little bit easier but not necessary. And now click on the data tab. In the forecast group, click what if analysis and then goal seek. So our set cell should be B14. If B14 is not the set cell, all you have to do is click cell B14. In the two value to do a break even analysis, type the number zero and click in the by changing cell box by changing cell click on the quantity of B4 so we've just told Excel to do exactly what I did just before manually change cell B4 the quantity until the operating income equals zero notice when you click OK Excel will give you the answer 2500 quantity and notice how our formula shows an operating income of zero. If we click OK, we will keep the answer. But for this tutorial, we're going to click Cancel to go back to our original numbers. Let's say you wanted to do a target profit with Goal Seek. So make sure that you're still on the Data tab, What If Analysis, and Goal Seek. So our set cell is still the operating income with the formula, cell B14. It's very important that the set cell has a formula because if Excel changes the quantity and it doesn't change the operating income, Excel will not be able to find a solution. So now in the two value type of target profit of 15,000, 15000, no commas. Unfortunately, in the two value box, you cannot use the cell reference. And then click in the by changing cell. And once again, click on cell B4, the quantity. When we click OK, Excel should calculate the quantity 
necessary to have an operating income of $15,000, 2,941 units. Once again, if you click OK, you keep the solution, but for this tutorial, we're going to click Cancel to show you a little bit more with Goal Seek. Now, one more Goal Seek tutorial. Let's say you didn't want to change the quantity. Let's say the quantity of 3,500 was given, and you wanted to calculate a selling price necessary to give you an operating income of $50,000. So, Data, Tab, Forecast Group, What If Analysis, and Goal Seek. We're going to set our operating income to a value of 50000 in the Two Value box. But this time, we're going to click on the Changing Cell, and we're going to click on cell B5, the Selling Price. So Excel will calculate the selling price necessary to make an operating income of $50,000. Click OK. Our selling price, $128.57. One more time, just click Cancel, as we're not going to accept these solutions. We have more tutorials to do. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the use of Solver, which is kind of goal seek on steroids. So notice when I click my Data tab, I have a group all the way to the right that says Analyze. It's called the Analyze group. If you do not see this group, click File, all the way on the bottom on the left-hand side, click Options. Second to the bottom on the left-hand side, click Add-ins. Down at the bottom, next to where it says Manage Excel Add-ins, click Go. And make sure that your Solver add-in is checked. Once that's checked, all you have to do is click OK. And when you go back to your Data tab, you should see an Analyze group on the right-hand side with the solver. So now I'm going to click Solver. Our objective cell is still our operating income of B14. Notice we can set our objective as a maximum, a minimum, or a value. Unfortunately, that value still cannot be a cell reference. For right now, we're going to accept the value of zero. And our by changing variable cell, just click on cell B4, the quantity. So, same thing that we had in our goal seek. Our objective is B14, the operating income, value is zero, by changing cell B4, the quantity. And now we're going to click solve. Mm -hmm. Notice how we, we can keep the solver solution. We can restore the original values. We can go back to the Solver dialog box if we don't like the answer. And we can produce some awesome reports, answer reports, sensitivity reports, and limit reports, which we won't do right now. You can also save this as a scenario. So right now for this demonstration, I'm going to click the radio box for Restore Original Values, and I'm going to click OK. Now, one more time, I'm going to show you how to use solvers, and we're actually going to put in a constraint. We're going to tell Excel that our quantity has to be non-negative. So our quantity has to be greater than or equal to zero. So one last time, data, analyze group on the far right-hand side, and click solver. Our objective cell is the operating income, 34,000. This time, delete the value of zero. Make sure the radio button value of is checked, but delete the zero. This time, we're going to choose our target profit of 15,000, 15,000, no commas. Our variable cell is still going to be cell B4, the quantity. With Solver, we can have multiple changing variable cells. 
but we're not going to do that in this example. Now, notice how we have subject to the constraints. So now we're going to click Add, and we're just going to tell Excel that our quantity has to be greater than or equal to zero. So I'm going to click Add next to the subject to the constraints box, and I'm going to tell Excel that our quantity has to be greater than or equal to the number zero. All I have to do is click Add if I want to add another constraint, or click OK if that is all of my constraints. I'm going to click OK as we have no more constraints to add, and we've told Excel now that our quantity has to be non-negative. So now when we click Solve, Excel solved for our quantity of 2,941 units will give us an operating income of 15,000. But once again, I'm going to click Restore Original Values and then click OK.